Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a verifier program using your V6CF controller. So the first thing we need to do is press the enter program button to get into the user programs. And then you have the options of user 1 through 6. So just type whichever one you'd like to use in. We'll do 5 this time and press enter. Now it's asking for the number of segments. Right now it's set for 4. We'll go ahead and change that to 3 and press enter. And now it's asking you for the ramp rate for segment number 1. So right now at all nines that's as fast as possible. I'm going to change it to a thousand degrees per hour. So type in a thousand and press enter. Then it's asking you for the temperature for segment number one. So we'll type in 350, press enter. Now it's asking you for the hold time. Right now it's set for an hour. I'm going to do an hour and 15 minute hold and press enter. And now it's asking you for the ramp rate for segment number two, and it'll go through each individual segment, so you can program you know, your temperatures and ramp rates in here. So I'll just leave that, then your temperature for segment two, your hold time for segment two, and then so on with segment number three as well. So we, we'll just leave all of those in there, your hold time. Now it's asking you for your alarm. Right now it's set for all nines, which means it will not go off. Um, but if we want to change that, we can set it to maybe 1400 degrees. If we don't want it to go over 1400, it'll set, it'll sound an alarm. So we'll press 1400 and press enter. Then we'll go to CPL, complete, and then back to idle. Now there is a couple other things we do need to program before we're done. So if you want to do a delay before the firing, we'll press the delay button. Say you want it to wait 30 minutes after you press the start button to begin. So we'll press 30 and then press enter and then it'll take you back to the idle screen. And the last thing we need to do is whether or not you want your error codes on or off. So if you want to change that, we'll press the menu button until ERCD is displayed. So there it is. We'll press enter. And now the error codes are turned on. If you want to turn them off, just use one to toggle from on to off. So press one to get back to on and we'll press enter. I'm going to leave them on. And then now we go back to the idle screen. Now if you want to review your program before you go ahead and fire, we'll press review program here at the bottom. It tells you the user, the number of segments, and then it goes through each parameter for each segment. So there's this segment two is starting now. And then the parameters for segment three. And then once there's the delay, then the alarm temperature, your error codes are on, and then the number of firings this controller has done. And once that all goes through, we'll go back to the idle screen, and you're ready to start the firing. So that's it for this one, but remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!